this month for the team and, and what you guys are building here under Billy Mayfield? Yeah, so um, like I said, you know, obviously we didn't get the result. We won it last weekend, and um, um, the only thing we can do now uh, from here on out is, you know, just keep fighting, you know what I'm saying? It, it got to mean something to you. You know, you just got to yeah, just keep swinging, you know. How big, how big is getting to a bowl game for you guys? Uh, I mean, how is that critical for this pro for all the players in the program going forward? Yeah, no doubt. You know, that's, that's literally like the standard here, like a bowl game, you know, so I feel like um, – that's that's definitely something that we you know we we we, we I don't want to even say expect but you know it's more so like you know we we we're, we're working to get to that most definitely. Did you play at the A&M game in 2020? Yes, you sir. In, you were in that game. Yes, sir. I did. What do you remember about that day? Was it really as many people and as loud and crazy, or what? What do you recall? Yeah, I, I, yeah. If, if I'm not mistaken, that was COVID year. Um, and but they did have probably the most packed stadium out in, in out of like everywhere that we went that year. So um, I just know since like it's no restrictions, I know it'll be uh, pretty rowdy this upcoming weekend. On this past defense is you know creating some interceptions, but also giving up a lot of yards. How do you evaluate it, and what do you guys maybe need to do better by the end of the month? Um, you know that just goes back to um, you know. Film study and just um, executing every down. You know, every down. You know, it, every down is it, it, every down is a money down in my eyes. You know, they say third down money down. I feel like every down is money down. You know, um, and I just feel like um, that just goes back to like just guys doing that one eleven, just executing a job every down. You know. And I guess if you can speak to it, the, the team's reaction to bring Cox being dismissed and what kind of message do you think that sends across the roster? Um, it definitely sends a strong message throughout the um, the locker room, you know. Um, that's my guy, you know. Um, I'm, I, I'm still rooting for B, you know, to this day. Um, I, um, it it kind of it caught me off guard a little bit, you know. I kind of found out when I y'all did, but, um, you know, um, I, then that's a Napier decision, Coach Napier decision, you know. Um, you know, I just I leave that up to Coach, you know. Um, we just got to keep going as a team, you know, finish out strong. But I wish him the best for sure. Coach Napier brought up as well today and on Saturday that he saw kind of a different fight, almost a kind of a turning point for you. So when you think about just the togetherness of this team, how, again, important is that message, I guess? Yeah, um, that just goes to show, like, you know, when we – when we're all together on one page and fighting, you know, um, really the sky's the limit, you know. Um, I feel like, honestly, um, when we're all just fighting for one goal, you know, um, I seen someone on Twitter the other day, it was like when um, when no one, I think it's from the Seahawks, like when um, he said something about um, when no one is looking to be uh, rewarded with the crown, like just the team success just, um, it, it skyrockets. So I feel like um, that's the approach that we um, should, well, must take. No. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, that's just my guy. Yeah, I'm saying that's just, yeah. No, but then you said something afterwards, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. Oh, uh, nah. Jada, you came in with uh, Lloyd. Obviously, this is a big opportunity for him. Yeah. Um, just what have you seen from him and his development and him being able to step up? Yeah, so um, even uh, with B, um, through the whole course, you know, Lloyd has just been um, taking a, um, a little from his game and, you know, just applying it to his. And I feel like Lloyd has learned a lot from B as far as, like, his play and just – Lloyd has learned like the urgency, and I feel like Lloyd is is taking that big step that he needed to uh, be ready. So I, feel, I and honestly, I'm I'm confident in Lloyd and, and his play, and all the other Bucks as well, Chuan, Reese, and I'm confident in all those guys. I feel like they're ready, no doubt. Patrick Tony um, has taken a lot of blame from the fan base, particularly of, for just the defensive struggles. What would you say about his coaching ability and? and what you like about it and what maybe fans and people, just casual observers, are missing. Yeah, I will say this. Um, I, I see, I see the hate too. You know, I see it with Coach Tony, with us. You know, as whole. I honestly feel like um, fans should just take a step back and just really like understand. Like P T Patrick Tony is definitely a, um, a he's a, a definitely a great coach. Like it's, and 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 I know it's hard to say with the results that we're given, but you know that just goes back to you know we just have to be on the same page as far as you know just. Players, you know, we have to execute it. You know, Patrick Tony can only do so much. He coached Tony. He gives us the calls, and you know, we have to execute it. So, I, I, I you can't fault Coach Tony. Well, what, what do you like about what he does? What he does? You say uh, we we heard all the players think he's like brilliant and all that. What can you give me an example? What stands out to you where it's like people don't maybe don't know. 
Um, wh- one thing I will say, Patrick Tony is doing his hardest every week. You know what I'm saying? He's in here before y'all wake up, and he's in here when by the, when y'all going to sleep. And, and he's doing his best to, you know, make sure we're in the best situation, the best position to be successful. Um, and, I, and, I, and I'm uh, strongly confident in, in Coach Tony. The secondary as a whole performance through eight games, and what areas do you think you guys have been strong, and where do you think you still need to improve? Um, I mean, yeah, I see it. I mean, we definitely have a lot of room for um, improvement. Um, I honestly feel like we should, um, we, we need to play the ball a, um, a lot better. Um, you know, route recognition. Um, it's a lot of things that we, sh- um, as a secondary, that we um, need to work on, and, and we know that, you know, as a, as a group. Oh, that was a, a, a great play. You know, um, I, I was too proud of him, you know, for that. Uh, all the work he's put in, you know, to, to come down with that ball. That was big time. That was a great play. Did you realize that he got it right away? Or, uh, no, actually, I didn't I didn't really, like, when he, see, I, initially I thought it was a catch, you know. I, I didn't know. But then I seen when he um, when he was holding the ball up. And then I watched the replay. I'm like, oh, he got it. But I was surprised myself, though. It was a great play. You know, Jacksonville, I guess, was, Kind of a, a road, not really a road game, not only. So the only real road game you guys have had was against Tennessee. How, what do you guys take from that experience to kind of going into where you have three of your last four on the road? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, Tennessee. So uh, that was the environment was just off the off the chart. So you, you obviously, you know, um, just like when teams come into the swamp, you know, like it, it's, it's rowdy, you know, um, home field advantage that all plays a part. But, you know, that's where we got to just be, um, you know, back against the wall and, you know, just well, actually, back against the, um, which other uh, teammate, you know, and just and just you know, it's just y'all, all y'all got. Well, we all we got, you know, to an extent. So it's like we just gotta um, just just embrace the the hate, you know, all the the you know everybody against you. And I feel like that should you know that should motivate you to go out and want to play even harder, you know, just to shut them up. results weren't what you guys were looking for, but just something to build on. How huge was that? Getting? Yeah, like you said, uh, the results wasn't definitely not how we wanted it. But, you know, to, to win that, you know, that's a start. You know, just to just to see us keep fighting, you know, and to win a turnover battle is, is big for us, you know, as a defense. That's something that we talked about, you know, winning the turnover margin. And, and we actually did that this game. So that's something that, you know, we can start there. You know, that's a, that's a good start. He's a little bit far away from you, but Chris McClellan has, we've seen his reps kind of increase recently over the last several weeks, and it seems like he's played pretty well. What do you think he brings to this defense, and what, what can you maybe say about him? Yeah, so um, before Chris ever made a, uh, the first play that y'all seen, I always knew that uh, just his approach and practice and just his, his work ethic, I already knew that uh, Chris was going to be a good player for us. And um, I honestly feel like Chris brings a um, – he brings he brings that extra edge to the defense. You know, he gets to come off the bench and he gets to make like good plays. He makes big time plays when we need him. And and um, I really I'm, I'm thankful for Chris. Yeah, he made a lot of big time plays for us. Yeah, one more just about A and M's offense. They have a new quarterback, a new role, highly rated kid. Um, finally getting his shot. I think he threw a few touchdowns last yeah. week. What, what do you see from that offense and, and some of those young playmakers? Yeah, um, so yeah, everybody knows a m has a, um, a pretty good freshman class and um, just a, a pretty good team period, you know. Um, They've been kind of um, on the rough end, like how kind of how like, we have been. Um, but a and um, definitely has like an explosive offense, and we have to um, prepare well for that. And um, um, I look forward to doing so. Evan Stewart, does he jump out? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's a he. Def, I, I, he's definitely a playmaker. Um, I remember um, actually him being here and uh, helping recruiting him. Yeah, but um, Evan, he's definitely a great player, and um, um, I'm looking forward to getting out there and um, competing with him. What's that? Yeah, he stood out in front of that life. Mm-hmm.